Alec Baldwin is formally charged with involuntary manslaughter in the Rust shooting. New Mexico prosecutors on Tuesday accused Alec Baldwin of involuntary homicide, blaming the entertainer for skipping required firearms training and making an environment of carelessness on the arrangement of Rust. Baldwin and Rust armorer Hannah Gutierrez-Reed were both accused of involuntary murder regarding their supposed jobs in the 2021 passing of cinematographer Helena Hutchins, First Judicial District Attorney Mary Carmack Altwees announced. Rust assistant director David Halls was likewise accused of careless utilization of a deadly weapon and has previously consented to argue no challenge, as per Carmack Altwees. Prosecutors have the proof appearance that Baldwin was absent for required guns preparing preceding the beginning of shooting the film, extraordinary specialist Robert Pushing wrote in a reasonable justification explanation. Furthermore, while one more instructional course was planned on the set, the booked one-hour class just lasted 30 minutes since Baldwin was diverted and chatting on his phone to his family during the preparation, investigators said, referring to an assertion from Gutierrez Reed. Schilling additionally claimed the scene working out before Hutchins expected no shots to be discharged. What's more, as the film's maker, Baldwin neglected to hold sufficient well-being gatherings, Schilling composed, which brought about an environment of wildness as confirmed by the lead of the cast and team reported through explanations and proof. While assessing the content and witness interviews, for this specific scene and close-up shot, proof shows the scene-slash-shot didn't need the weapon to be discharged, Schilling composed. Hutchins, 42, was killed October 21, 2021, during a shooting for Rust at the Bonanza Creek Ranch in Santa Fe County, New Mexico. Baldwin was practicing with a gun for a scene when the firearm went off, killing Hutchins and injuring director Joel Souza. It is also determined by consultation with expert armorers that in a rehearsal, a plastic weapon or copy firearm ought to be utilized as no shooting of empties is expected, as per the reasonable justification explanation. Nonetheless, Baldwin shot the single action .45 long Colt gun bringing about the release of a shot that struck and went through the right armpit of Helena Hutchins, left her back, then struck Joel Souza in the right shoulder and held up into his right back. Tuesday's charges currently put the legal clock into high gear, as Baldwin will make his underlying court appearances within the following 15 days, prosecutors have recently said. Baldwin can show up in these first court appearances from a distance, defense attorneys have said. The case is supposed to go through a starter hearing in which prosecutors should show an adjudicator they have sufficient proof to warrant a preliminary. That continuing could occur in late April or early May, prosecutors have said. A preliminary could happen before the year's over, contingent upon the schedules of the judge, prosecutors, and defense attorney. The district attorney and the extraordinary prosecutor are completely centered around getting equity for Helena Hutchins, Heather Brewer, a representative for Carmack Altwees, said in a proclamation Monday. The proof and the realities represent themselves. Baldwin has refused to take any responsibility for Hutchins' death. Before George Stephanopoulos in December 2021, Baldwin ventured to say he didn't fire that deadly round. I feel that somebody is answerable for what occurred, and I can't say what that identity is. Yet, I know it's not me, the entertainer told news reporters at that point. Prosecutors have pushed back on Baldwin's affirmation and said they have an FBI lab report to show definitively that the prosecutor pulled the trigger. In any case, Baldwin purportedly told responding sheriff's delegates that he had discharged the firearm that killed Hutchins, according to Schilling. The FBI tried the weapon that killed Hutchins hitting it with a mallet at different points to check whether it could discharge without tension on the trigger. The pistol didn't glitch, as indicated by Schilling. This investigation obviously demonstrated the way that the weapon proved unable unintentionally shoot, for the weapon to discharge, the trigger needed to have been discouraged slash pressed. A delegate for Baldwin declined to remark on Tuesday evening. Gutierrez Reed's attorney Jason Bowles demanded his client ought not to be charged on the grounds that she did all that could be within reach to raise safety principles on the rust set. Hannah argued to give more guns preparing, Bowles said in a proclamation. She was denied and disregarded. Hannah requested to have the option to play out her armorer obligations or something else for safety reasons. She was told by production to focus on props. Bowles said Gutierrez Reed ought not to be confronting a crime when Halls could be looking for only a half year of probation. Hannah inquired as to whether they could use a plastic firearm for the practice scene, and he said no, needing a genuine weapon, as per Bowles. Please if you love our video, give us a thumbs up, the like button, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe so that you won't mix the next video when we upload.